Well, just a little uh, update on the Turbo GTI project since I made a grievous error and soldered a socket in backwards on the ECU, which was my stupidity. Um, I have re-explored my options with the Mega Squirt. Um, now I had bought this to turbo a three-cylinder throttle body injection, and it's just been sitting collecting dust for a while. Um, but what this is, this is a, you know, build-it-yourself engine control unit. Um, this particular one, this is running Mega Squirt uh, code 2. Point, I think it's 2.2 .2 on a PC uh, PCB version 3. Um, so it just passed its preliminary test and uh, for the power supply. So um, now I'm about to do the serial data test. So now I'm about to hook it all up. Uh, one of the most critical components in this is this little piece right here. This is called a mega stem. Uh, what this does, this actually emulates the uh, the car. So when I'm running preliminary diagnostics on this, um, the computer interface is right here. This is just a standard DB9. And then you have the interface over here. This is what I'll make the wiring harness out of. Or this is where the wiring harness will hook up to. Sorry, it's been a long day. But this, all of this just slides nicely into this case, and, which you'll see later when it's all finished. But um, anyway, I'm about to run some tests, and I'll post it up as it goes. All right, now my selection of... Uh, USB to serial cables was the um, Radio Shack as a GigaWare, and I decided to download the uh, software for it because when I open up the package, this is what I found, and uh, it doesn't exactly work too good in a CD-ROM. Uh, anyway, uh, first step after I install the drivers and everything, I have to jump pin two and three together, and this will provide a loop back. I'm just set the camera down. Sorry. Uh, uh, this, what this does is this verifies that there is proper connection when I open up HyperTerminal. Now, configuring this, um, I've got HyperTerminal open. Uh, click on the red box. I'm just going to call this Megasquirt. Um, can't spell it. Okay. Uh, that is going to be over COM4 for my system. Um, the data rate. Uh, the baud rate, excuse me, for Mega Squirt 1 you would use 9600, for Mega Squirt 2, which is what I'm using now, will be 115 200. Uh, no parity, stop bits, uh, flow control will be none. Apply, OK. And what I should see is if I key something, it echoes back immediately. So as I'm typing things, it's echoing back through the, uh, the serial connection. So if I actually come over here and unclip it off the end of the cable, I can sit and key things all day long and nothing's going to happen. So the cable is working properly. So now I can just move on to the next test. All right, see what I got here. I've got the USB to serial connector going on to the main board. Sorry about the light, might not be the best. Um, and I've also got the stimulator plugged into the connection here. I just bought a 12 volt supply from Radio Shack. It's an M connector, running about 20 bucks, but you know it's a lot easier than using 9 volts. Um, so the other thing I had to do, you may or may not be able to see it. Um, there is a, I kind of made a jumper to go between pin 12 and 13, and this is basically doing a loop back. This is testing a uh, dip circuit that was soldered in here. This controls the serial. Um, so what I'm expecting to see is back over here, hyper terminal is still loaded up. Um, at my cursor, if I key something, oh good. See, when I key something, it's sending it through the system and it's just doing a straight loop back. So serial dip socket is functioning properly. So right now I still have a good board. All right.